a press conference at police headquarters to launch Crime Stoppers Awareness Month. One of the most prominent hotels in Paris has been robbed by axe-wielding burglars. The votes have been counted on whether part-time college support staff will unionize or not. We'll tell you the results. Humber News starts now. Hi, I'm Sarah Flores coming to you from our newsroom at Humber's North Campus. It's Thursday, January 11th. Here's what's making news. Part-time support staff at 24 Ontario colleges have voted to unionize. The Ontario Public Service Employers Union says 84% were in favor of joining the union. Around 20,000 part-time support staff were involved in the voting process. The first vote took place in June 2016. The ballots were counted last night after a year and a half of legal battles. A heist is making headlines at one of the most exclusive hotels in the world. Armed robbers with axes broke into the Ritz Hotel in Paris. It happened yesterday afternoon. The thieves took more than $5 million in jewels. Five people were involved in the heist, police say. Three were arrested, but two others got away. There are no injuries reported at this time. Robbers targeting jewelry stores at non -com are not uncommon in Place Vendome Square, where the Ritz is located. An employee of a nearby hotel says people took shelter before police said the incident was over. January is National Crime Stoppers Awareness Month. Crime Stoppers allows community members to anonymously report information to police. Today, at police headquarters, they held a press conference launching the month. The event marks the 46th year of the organization and featured Police Chief Mark Saunders and Toronto Mayor John Tory. Here's what Mark Saunders said. 12,000 tips uh, were received uh, last year, and I, again, that's another sign that, uh, you know, this is a program that's not stale. Uh, it's getting more awareness. Uh, utilizing uh, multi-language uh, agencies also becomes a factor in assisting, uh, giving a broader audience to know that they can call and uh, that they will be heard, I, I think are some of the key factors uh, that have led to the numbers, and I, I hope that that's a trend that, uh, that continues to, to, to go on. Is, is the anonymity? Again, Saunders pointed out that 2017 was a year that Crime Stoppers received the most leads with 12,701 tips pouring in. These tips led to 126 arrests and 463 criminal charges. A man is in hospital following a shooting in downtown Toronto early this morning. It happened just after 3 a.m. near a nightclub at Bathurst and King. Police say a verbal altercation took place which led to a fight in an alleyway where the victim was shot. He made his own way to St. Michael's Hospital. Police say his injuries are not life-threatening. They're asking any witnesses to come forward. A number of water main breaks are shutting down major routes across the city. A massive sinkhole from a broken water main appeared yesterday on Young just south of the 401. The two southbound lanes remain closed as crews work to repair the damage. The closure had a major impact on drivers coming off the 401. Meanwhile, another water main break also closed down a part of Pape Avenue in the East End. Other closures happened at Bermondsey Road and on the Queensway. We're going to take a quick break. Still ahead, a look at sports and weather.